Hello everybody, we are going to look at a retrieval augmented generation demo based on the Weave 8 Factor database, a generative model and a factorization model. And we're going to look at a concept called generative feedback loops that are, you know, closely related to um, RAG. It is described in this blog post. We're going to use Airbnb data and that's also in this blog post. So everything that I'm about to show you is something you can try out yourself as well. Um, this is the Weaveit console, so this is where you can connect to a, a Weaveit instance that's running on the Weaveit cloud service. I'm going to use GraphQL to search through the data set, but you can also use Python, JavaScript, Java, Go, whatever you like. So let's look at what we have here in this data set. So this data set contains Airbnb listings. So uh, you see a bunch here. So here, like uh, the host name, the name, the neighborhood, the price, room type, and those kind of things, but one thing that you might notice is that there's no description. And that's on purpose because this data set simply does not contain descriptions. So one thing that we can do is that we can apply RAG. And RAG works something like this. So we have a module in Weavia that does that for you. So here we go. So we can say generate. And then we say we want to see a single result. So that means rather than doing all of the results, we go one by one. And then we say for the single result, we give it a prompt. And the prompt is, I've prepared this here. This is the uh, the prompt we're going to use. So I just copied this in. And basically we're saying like here, write a short Airbnb description for the listing. And this is how we define the property name. So that is related to this name. And then we say like include the name of the host, etc., etc. And let's do that for the first three just to get an understanding of what's actually happening so let's run that query and see what happens so what you see here is actually rag in action so now we have the um here we have the listing and now we have a result that is generated based on that listing right so it's a nice listing um a description based on this you know sparse set of information that we've given it but the problem is uh, or well, not the problem, but the interesting situation is that this is like a one-way street, right? Because we basically pipe the results through the generative model and get this back. But the cool thing is if we can actually store that back in our database and search over it. So um, there's a way to do it in Weave 8. It's very simple. And here I have a Python example. So you see here I have the exact same um, uh, uh, prompt. And this is basically a little you know snippet of Python code to... Um, uh, update all the listings with generated content. So let's run that and see what happens. So let's go back here. And now the thing is we can remove this complete section because we don't need it. And let's run that same query as we did before. Let's remove the limit. So here we go. So as you can see here, we now have these listings, but they are now stored in the description field. And this is where the factorization module of Weav8 kicks in, because let's look at the first listing. And now we can actually say, well, did this listing get a vector embedding? And then as you see, the answer is yes. So this first listing, if we scroll all the way down, this is the vector embedding that we've given to this listing. So what we can do with that is that we now can do vector search. So let's do a hybrid search where we uh, combine uh, um, a, the uh, vector index with the BM25 index and let's search for, um, let me think, a cozy place near a park to walk my dog. Right. So what's going to happen when I hit search is basically that the query gets vectorized it simultaneously, simultaneously does a vector search and a hybrid search, and it will return some result. So here we go. So now you see it returns a result where it says, welcome to John's clean and quiet apartment located by the beautiful park, etc., cetera, et cetera. So this is probably a good result. But the cool thing here is that we've now been able to do vector search over a description that was not in the original data set. But we can actually, you know, keep you know, going. So now we can basically take the generated description and we can do another rec search. So there we go, generate, single result. Let's go here, single result. And then we give it a prompt and then we can say something like, um, oh, here we go. 
but you can say something like, I don't know, why is the following a good uh, listing to my dog? Something like, I don't know, something like that, right? And then we're basically gonna say, we want the description, so we're gonna get the description. And now if you run this, we're basically gonna, again, vectorize the query, get this data object back, and then use the generated content to try to get this question answered. So let's see what happens, here we go. So now we get back, as you can see, the same result, but it also gives an answer. This listing is a good option for working your dog because one, the apartment is located near a beautiful park, well, et cetera, et cetera. So this is an example of using the vector database, doing vector search and applying retrieval augmented generation or RAG, Plus, we've now introduced this concept of generative feedback loops, where we basically store the data that's coming out of REC back into the database so that we can search over it. Um, I hope this was helpful, and I'm looking forward to see what you will build with VV8 and these models and these modules.